A report from New Mexico State University police alleges that several NMSU basketball players harassed and also made criminal sexual contact with a teammate. I'm Trevor Thompson. Thank you for joining us. That's right. I'm Stephanie Shields. The university has shut down the program from playing for the rest of the season and all coaches have been put on administrative leave for now. Our sports director Colin Deaver has all those details. Pinned to the floor by three teammates while they hit his buttocks, then touched his genitalia in the locker room are among the disturbing hazing allegations made by a New Mexico State basketball player in a police report filed on Friday. The report alleges the locker room assaults by three of his teammates began as far back as July or August of 2022 and continued as recently as February 6th, both at the Pan American Center and on the road. To make matters worse, the victim alleges in the report that the misconduct was usually performed in front of the entire team and that no one ever attempted to stop the alleged assaults. He let the assaults happen, he says, because it was three on one. NMSU administration took action, shutting the season down altogether on Sunday with five games remaining. Chancellor Dan Arvisu said the season's cancellation was clearly necessary. Hazing has no place on our campus, the chancellor wrote, and those found responsible will be held accountable for their actions. We must uphold the safety of our students and the integrity of our university. It's time for this program to reset. Those words seem to signal potential leadership changes for the basketball program, but as of Sunday night, head coach Greg Heyer and his staff were still employed on paid administrative leave. An NMSU official told KTSM that the chancellor does not need Board of Regents approval to terminate an employee. He can make that decision on his own. Three players have left the program since Saturday, citing the hazing allegations. The latest was guard Kyle Flight saying on Sunday that he would look for a new program that better aligned with his values. And KTSM also spoke to a former NMSU player who spent time under hire and chose not to be identified, who said on Sunday, quote, I didn't really feel comfortable being there. It just felt off. My gut was telling me to make the move to leave, end quote. That player left Las Cruces before the start of the 2022-23 season. WAC Commissioner Brian Thornton also weighing in, saying on Twitter that his heart ached for the victim. The conference said it would decide in the coming days how to handle the canceled New Mexico State games for the WAC standings. And once again, that was Colin Deaver reporting. Now, this is a developing situation. Make sure to stick with KTSM as we are staying on top of this story.